I was a defensive midfielder, well, a midfielder and, oh, okay. a, and a yeah. right back. So I, I, I mixed between those two, those two positions. Uh, and then I think it was after the, I think it was the third season mm -hmm. or second uh, uh, season or yeah, second or third season. I, uh, we had an injury and uh, uh, my coach asked me if I could play centre back and, and I did and. Uh, he liked it. The guy who was injured <laughs> never got back in. No, <laughs> and I played. I played centre back ever ever since. Uh, and we, uh, I think, yeah, he liked what I did at that position. Yep. You know, and I what think if what if Oli asked you now to play in midfield, you'd be all right. It's it's. Uh, I haven't played it. I haven't for played. Yeah, yeah, for a while. So it's it's a bit different in position. You know, yeah. and everything. And uh, you always have. To, you know, uh, as a midfielder, you everything. You know, as a defender, you have a little bit more time. Yeah. And uh, as soon as you go up as a midfielder, you need to be quicker. Yeah, much yeah. quicker. Yeah. So, and then you know, in the like the positions and everything, how to defend and, mm. and run. I think it would take me a little bit, a little, a little while yeah, to, yeah. to, you know, get to, used to it. yeah, to yeah. get used to it. Yeah. But still, it would be fun to try. But, but even part of your game is that, though, isn't it? Coming out with the ball and yeah, yeah. you're very obviously you're very comfortable on the ball. Yeah, you and Dari there. Yeah. So I think. I think that's why, because I played as a midfielder all my mm -hmm. life. So I think that's why I like to have the ball on my feet and yeah. and to play out from the back. So a lot of responsibility, uh, you know, is on me. So trying to do my best and and uh, you know to I don't know how to explain it, but I want my teammates to feel comfortable giving me the ball because they I want them to know that I can handle it. I think a lot of people will be surprised that you didn't start naturally as a center back because I remember when you signed people being really excited by this center back who loved defending and so clearly liked defending as opposed to because sometimes you see center backs that they don't want the ball they don't want to make a tackle they sort of would rather the game was played in front of them and they were just their worst case scenario. But do you love defending? Yeah, of course it's it's my job <laughs> so you have to yeah. you have to love it. Uh, and uh it's just my job, and I I just love to, love to do it, and it's it's a good thing for me as well to be able to help my teammates in in that way. I'm led to believe you were also very good at ice hockey. Yeah, if I can if I can say that, yeah. <laughs> you can, yeah. yeah. Say what you want, mate. Yeah. Say what you want. Uh, no, actually, I was I was quite good to be fair. Uh, so I, I still miss it. You know, it's it's a it's a very fun sport, and uh, I grew up playing playing a lot of ice hockey and. Uh, you know, in Sweden, in, in the winter, I played ice hockey, and then as spring came, started to play football, and then it went like that. So, yeah, it's a sport that I love, and uh, yeah, I miss it. I was quite good at it. So it was a hard choice for me to do, but uh, could you've gone professionally the other way? Uh, no. So when I was fourteen, I made my debut uh, for my home hometown club. Yeah. You know, so and uh, they offered me a contract. Then I had to choose between football and ice hockey. So. I made my decision when I was 15. I don't know, I felt like, you know, football has always been closer to my heart than, yeah, than yeah. hockey. I was a bit better at, uh, at ice hockey than football. But like I said, I, uh, I had a greater love for football. So that's why, yeah, I chose football. It's a rough yeah. sport as well, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's fun, you know, you can you can fight. I know you've got well. pads on and stuff like that, yeah. but even so. Yeah, but like if you get mad, you can, you can punch someone and you only get like two minutes. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, two minutes penalty. <laughs> You can't do that on a football pitch, no, no, no. you know. So if you get mad, you know you can't yeah, do anything. Yeah. So that's yeah. that was quite quite good to to have that. Do you think that's hockey. helped you in your game to be aggressive? Uh, I think so. Uh, you know, and then as uh, when I was growing up, it was also very good for me to have two sports uh, yeah, that yeah. complement each other. So I think I think so. And uh, I, in ice hockey, I played with the with the the ones who were like three four years older than me as well. Mm -hmm. So when I was 11, 12, I, I, I play with the ones who are 14, yeah, 15, yeah, yeah. and that's from 11, 12 to 14, 15, that's, that's a lot of different, you know, I was quite, quite small and they yeah. were in puberty and, you know, everything. <laughs> so I had to, I had to step up my game and be, become, you know, Sam, Sam, Sam will get to puberty. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there eventually. Thanks, yeah. 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 People keep telling me. <laughs> Yeah, a bit of unfluff. So. Yeah. It'll be exciting when it happens. Um, <laughs> it will come. Yeah. Thank you. When you say you miss ice hockey, presumably when you're a footballer that Manchester United have paid thirty five million pounds for, there are things like that, that you can't do? Or or yeah. you can sneak a game in now and again. I can I can play a little bit of ice hockey maybe, but you I'm try not, not sure. to get in trouble, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not sure if the <laughs> if the boss would be happy. But right. Okay. For me it's like it's like riding a bicycle, you know, it's not I'm not going out to play a proper game. No. 
if I would to play ice hockey, I would just go with my friends and yeah, just play around a little bit. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be. You know. Do they still? Do you know when you when you're injured? Do they still have ice hockey in the in the gym in in, in Carrington now? No, Jesper. Yeah, Jesper yeah. was unbelievable. You couldn't get the ball off him, and obviously it's a Swedish thing. And yeah, never even thought about that. But obviously, indoor hockey, so floorball. Is that so what, what you mean? Yeah, with the ball, not like the puck. No, 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 with the ball. Yeah, yeah, with the ball, a so plastic one. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. like floorball. It's also right. big in Sweden. Yeah. So it's similar, but that's... Well, yeah, yes, but it was unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Frightening. Yeah, it's quite good. It's quite similar, you know, but if, you, yeah. if you're good at ice hockey, you know how to play that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, with the with the stick and the ball yeah. and everything. Very good. I think I would have had a lot of fun if I <laughs> played with my teammates right now. I mean, I was I was born 15 minutes away from here, so it's always been Manchester United, Man City all the time. Yeah. What about rivalries? Who's, who's, the, who's the team you look for? See, the season starts, the yeah. fixtures are out. Who's the ones? I love to, you know, to to beat Liverpool. That would be, yeah. you know, so that's that's a game. Except especially here at Old Trafford, that, yeah. uh, those games are always very, very intense. Yeah, yeah. very, very intense, and it's always great to be a part of. Do you understand games. the hatred and the? Yeah, of course, I do. Yeah. I do. It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, like I said, growing up as well, you know, uh, Manchester United and Liverpool are two big clubs yeah. in in Scandinavia. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you're. Like you understood from a young age, the the rivalry between between the clubs. So, so for me to be able to be part of that mm -hmm. and to be at Old Trafford and and uh, to play for United in 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 that you know those games. those games are, yeah, it's it's really a dream come true for me. I always found when I was growing up, the magazines and stuff would always do like the ten fiercest derbies in football, and two that would always be on the list, always Manchester United Liverpool, Sporting Lisbon Benfica. Yeah. You've played in both. In terms of the atmosphere, where's it? Where's it um, feel most dangerous? It's very, it's very, very difficult to, to answer. <laughs> That's why we ask you these questions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I also have a very big game in Portugal. You no, know, Benfica Porto is also mm -hmm. a very, very big game. Of course, it's uh, Sporting is a derby because it's from the same city. But uh, uh, actually, when I played in in Benfica, uh, the games against Porto were. Bigger. Better, yeah, okay. it was bigger because uh, at that moment uh, Porto were like, yeah, they were always like competing with us. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, but always like derbies in 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 Portugal as well were also very very intense. And even if let's say one season maybe we were first and Sporting maybe fourth or something, like ten points behind, you know, we still. Going into those games, a derby, you know, we we could we could lose two nil, yeah. three nil, you know, it's a derby, so big games, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I must really, I don't want to compare it, you know. I feel bad to. I don't to mean which one's like it. better. I just I just wonder about the like the atmosphere and stuff. Not not you know the who's... atmosphere, are, you know, are, are great, you know, mm -hmm. both in Portugal and here, so. Those are really like the the best games to play. Mm -hmm. If you just look at the atmosphere, you know it's 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 unbelievable. It's ninety minutes, uh, and the fans are just screaming. You know it's uh, yeah, it's yeah. You played it, I mean, yeah. it's, it's it's great. You look uh, so happy just thinking about I, it. I, I, I tell <laughs> yeah, I tell you, it's great. It's, it's the best best games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like sometimes during those games you can't get tired because of the adrenaline. Like the, yeah. the adrenaline. You can you can run for hours. So yeah, great games to be part of.